Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Eden Lake map, which I've mentioned before as one of my favourite maps. And I'm using France for this game. My opponent's using Russia. So um, it's one of my allied games. Uh, we'll look at production. And because I'm using allies, I... Uh, for now, I mean, uh, this is one of my favourite maps, I like it, but because I'm using allies, I will use these kind of maps that I'm used to playing on, plus I'll go for a standard build as well, two refs, then the War Factory, then the third ref. You know, uh, I'd have more variation in build when uh, I'm more competent with allies, or when I'm using Russia, I have more more skills with them, more, so I show more variation in my build when I'm more comfortable, obviously, as most players should. But it's always good to experiment and get out of your comfort zone. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how you learn. But we're in the oil capture phase. Um, my opponent's placed his refineries at separate patches, whereas I focus mine against the largest field first, both of them. But I sent three rifles to escort my engineer, and he picked off one straight away. And this guy, being a veteran, just defeated my guy. And he's got healing because of the hospital, and that was on 200%, but I've taken him out now. But you saw the healing briefly fixing the rifle. The rifleman was healing, because when you take damage and stand still, the hospital will give you healing, slowly heal your rifles. Or your rocket troops, any infantry, when they take damage, when they stand still, they'll start to heal. And you'll see a little red cross icon, you see that? Just momentarily, there you go, there's the red, red cross icon. And when they pause for a moment, that there you go, when they pause, the icon flashes up. And that's because they're healing. And this is normal speed, so you can see that guy's on yellow health bar there. Now he's on green and you can see he's the only one left healing still. So yeah, you get bit by bit slow healing, but it's worth having luck. By the time he's in, an enga in another engagement, he's back to full health. So it really is worth having with the Soviets your, um, your hospital. Always worth having, not just for the view range and its defensive value, but, you know, it's actually, its healing is actually useful, you know. Um, and especially for veteran units, when they gain some heat, I believe a veteran, when they're at the highest rank, I think they get healing, uh, self-healing. I'm not 100%, I'll make sure of that, but that self-healing combined with a hospital would make uh, Soviet veteran units heal fairly quickly. Obviously, allies can heal a lot faster by having medics. But there's my opponent's MCV. And that's 4.25 he's moving out with that, which is excellent timing. That's nice and early. And I've got the enemy oil derrick. And now I've captured it. He can't see anymore, but he had view range over all of... Uh, he had view range, like, here, so he, he would have seen this force. But now he no longer has that view range benefit. He's backed away, which he is right to do, because he doesn't want to engage into me around here, because I'll use the benefit of the oil derrick's view range and that's just him engaging into a disadvantage you know a disadvantageous situation <laughs> and he doesn't want to do that don't engage when you're at a disadvantage you need to attack and uh, when you at least either equaled your enemy's advantages by the defender has the advantage so you need to at least bring vehicles and tanks to screen your infantry and provide extra view range so they can at least shoot as far as um you know they're capable of so therefore you need to see that far with your tanks while the enemy are getting view range on you with your with their structures but you have to balance out that benefit with your own vehicles when you're attacking the enemy base and that way then you'd want to have a numbers advantage because they've got base defenses and production on site and things but back to the game my opponent appears to be sneaking an apc and he's got four troops and it looks like an engineer that's right, he's got four rocket troops, he's opened up on my ore trucks, and I've actually got three there. One's nearly dead. That one is dead. Third one's under fire. 
but it looks like I've saved two. Not bad. Right, and my, I've got a force heading this way, but we'll look at my opponent's, uh, our army values. My opponent's got 11,000, I've got 12, so we're close in army value, and he did some damage with that, he's disrupted my um, income, but look at that, he got some nice crushes with the APC, and he's also saved... Um, one rocket trooper by the look of it, but uh, there's his engineer. I don't know what he's going to do with that, but it should hide in the bottom here. Just get out of the way. But well, I've got this small force, and there's a, a medium tank and a light tank, and another. There's a couple of medium tanks and a light tank with these guys, so that's a reasonable force. It's not powerful, but you see, it's about the same as this lot, to be fair. But I've got my MCV expanding. <clears throat> and it nearly ran headlong into that. The enemy might even see this and catch it, but it's very vulnerable there. But the, st the APC is still in position with a rocket soldier in it, so that'll be a pain. But look, my machine gun has warned me, machine gun post, uh, that I'm under attack. And I'm trying to get my horse rock out of there, but I was too slow. And what I'm thinking is, there's too much here. Look, I can see it's a large enemy force. So, I've got my MCV out of there, and I'm backing away. Falling back straight away. He's, I've got a 19 grand army, he's got 16, so I'm okay. But with my forces split, I need to be careful. But here, this is where I'm making my stand. That'll hold up to him, and then these will crush him. And if he tries to get away, they'll cut him down. But I know he can't push through here. I'm just uh, going to repair these, look have production from here there you go so he can't push through there and if they try to escape like i say they'll be run down but i've caught him there and it's changed the situation a lot it did force me to bring back my uh small force like about this this many i've had to come back but that rocket trooper and the engineer uh, now attacking. Now, I killed the engineer with that medium tank, but he has captured a power plant. And they've also destroyed an ore truck. So, it uh, did come back to bite me, um, with me not dealing with them. And he's escaped. Very nice. Well, I've got a scout here looking to see where he's expanding to. Um, and I've sent a force. I know I've got to send a force, but he might have seen that. Whoops. Yes, he knows I've got a force, so let's just check his reaction. He's sending that force there. He's got 9,800, and I've got 20. So if he can... He's got 10,000 to my 20, so I've got twice the army value he has. But he knew where I was, he knows I was there, but he's coming to attack me now. He should know he's not got as many foot units as I have. That means he shouldn't be doing this. He should be either falling back and defending this, or going for a counter-attack with some of them. You know, going for an eco-raid or something quickly. That looks like he's what he's chosen, but my engineer is capturing this. But I've got this attack, and... Um, yeah, I've got another attack waiting here. And I'm also protecting this forward expansion because I haven't even placed a refinery there yet. Here we go, I've sent my attack force in. And I've also sent this small eco raid in here. Yeah, the aeroplane destroyed my tank. Nice. <clears throat> But I've had to fall back with my MCV, he um, defeated me there, but you see all the small red cross symbols flashing up, that's because they're healing. But look, I've, I've got him overrun, there goes his radar dome, so that tech ab ability to use that tech and build that tech is gone now. So he can't build airfields anymore, for example, he can't build V2s anymore. He can build yaks, because he's got an airfield, but he just can't build more airfields. But here, I haven't got my tanks in position, and I was under attack here, look. So I've made my stand here, but I was uh, struggling. I had uh, my attention was divided. See if we can see some of my commands, but yeah. 
I'm struggling. Look, I didn't even take out those planes. And it was here I was... Yeah, this is what was going on. But I'm building here. Got defences. Um... My opponent's got 12 grand, I've got 1 grand, but he's in low power. And look, I'm left with 3 tanks, 2 tanks now, because he's just wiped one out, and a rocket soldier, but I'm going to move over here and retreat to see if he's set up an expansion. Looks like he's retreating with the last of his units, but I've also walled this off. I don't believe he ended up testing it, and I don't think I've just missed it. I don't, I don't think it's been threatened at that point just yet. Uh, but I did make that wall, and when you build up to here, you can place a wall to cover cover this. It's, um, you know, walls are very good, and they're very, very useful. And they're made all the more useful by the fact that most players don't use them a lot. So that makes them even better. You know, uh, concrete walls. I'll try and demonstrate their use a bit more extensively in more games and try and use them more consistently but I was moving out of these units and I found a, a five stack of rifles and backed off so yeah and look this is my reaction to a f I, you know what am I thinking let's have a look at the combat value 14,000 to me 12,000 to my enemy so he's done well by whittling down that attack force he did very well, and I did get my final tanks back to join these guys, my last two tanks. I don't know about the rocket soldier, but they did come back to join home base. That one's going for repairs, but look, we've got five yaks attacking my construction yard. Now, it's under repair, but I saw these guys and thought, right, I'm going to lose that. But if I shoot them down and they crash into it, I can't, I don't want that. So I need to shoot at the right time, but he's got it, and then I press stop command and it'll shoot them. I got two of them, so at least I caught some on their way away from the target. I got something. Uh, I've hidden my engineer down there safely out of the way. There's um, my tank repaired. Look, <laughs> my enemy captured that power plant. But I thought I'll attack here because I didn't think he's expanding there yet when I sent those two tanks <coughs> and rocket soldier retreating from this attack, I sent them this way and they revealed no expansion, so that's why I'm attacking here. Now I noticed this force in the middle but backed off and thought, right, I'll create a defensive force here and that'll do. And these guys, I press S and they start shooting aircraft. When you press stop, they actually target air units first, the rocket troops. So when you're in attack move, just press S there you go, and they'll open fire on the aircraft straight away, and he crashed into his own power plant, look. But that's how you deal with the axe. You can time the moment they shoot back, even though they will fire stray shots at the axe when you're in attack move. But if you press S and stop all your units here like this, then all the rocket troops should fire at any air units in range pretty quickly. And what you can do is time that so that when you press S and they stop and the rocket units fire, you time it so that when they shoot at the enemy air unit, it doesn't cause it to crash into something important. So if you've got an enemy yak heading for your construction yard, don't press S, shoot it down and cause it to crash into your construction yard. Wait a moment and uh, wait till it's passing over it or heading uh, in another direction because a yak crashes in a straight line whereas um, a helicopter crashes straight down but I've taken out this area and I've got him infiltrations that was 4,600 I saw there uh, so I've got 10 grand now and there may have been more I've turned these guys into my own riflemen and um, there's no refinery there but here's another infiltration there's 1600 and I'm the one with 13,000 now so that's the final um, nail in my opponent's coffin his attack there was stopped uh, uh, you know a tank or two and a base defense dealt with it in the end but here we go I've broken through now this small force it can't stop me the planes can't they're not you know it's look at those strafes are lovely but they can't stop me you see, they're shooting down and they're crashing a straight line. 
but I didn't actually press S to shoot them, I don't think then, but they're linking up with this force that's moved round, and there you go, he's calling it, because I did have several infiltrations, look, there's spies on the way here, and I overran this uh, refinery, left it alive, but I did disguise my spies as my own rifles, so they don't reveal... Uh, that they're heading for the right refinery and they don't reveal that they're going to infiltrate it. So disguise them as your own rifles, I've said it in a previous video. But there you go, there's some basics and uh, a good game with the allies for you. Um, I'd got my radar dome, but like I say, with the Russians, often the first bit of tech I use when I get the radar dome is actually thieves or spies. That's uh, quite often the first tech asset at tech level 2 when I get the radar dome. That's usually the first asset I invest in is a thief or a spy. They're such effective units and uh, they are definitely among my most favoured units. I like them. But we'll go through the graphs and charts. There's the army graph for you. Uh, I had a large high peak, but then when we, uh, there's obviously some combat here and I was taking losses, whereas my opponent was increasing in army size, but, uh, um, you know, about ten and a half minutes, he started obviously taking losses as well, and we both had a big drop, um, and this drop went to about eleven and a half minutes, we both had this big drop in army value and I think that was the point where we probably ended up at an about 12 and 14 or something um, yeah even less according to that yeah uh, I dropped to about um, oh that looks about 7 to um, 9 or something roughly but um, that wasn't good you know I had we had suffered a, some severe losses both of us dropped below halfway, half our army value, so uh, there was obviously some heavy combat at that point. But if we look at the earnings graph, you can see the infiltration points, or you should be able to. So I'm the blues, we should have... it's hard to see, to be fair. Maybe the drops on my enemy's earnings are, are one way to find the infiltrations, <laughs> you know, because there was uh, the infiltration here that I got, it took thousands. So even the one I caught a glimpse of, and that I don't think that was the first, because I believe the first infiltration, the guy was disguised as a rifleman, and that uh, infiltration that I happened to see, I think he was in uh, his tuxedo. So Bond, James Bond had come straight from his dinner party, his cocktail party, straight to the uh, field uh, to infiltrate the enemy refinery, and I'm sure he wasn't the first. A guy in uniform disguised as a rifle should have been the first infiltration. I could be wrong, but we'll see. But there's the earnings graph. My finishing army, nine heavy tanks, two spies, my engineer's still alive, which is here, and uh, reasonable... Uh, force of infantry. Now the combat chart, I killed 226 units and my opponent killed 241. So he's got uh, some uh, kills on me, some extras. Um, and the buildings, I lost 15 and my opponent lost 20. So um, we did okay there. It looks like some stray fire because... Um, my opponent killed 16, so yeah, that's 15. He's killed them fair and square, but he's obviously run over a fence as well. Whereas I killed 19, but my opponent's lost 20, so maybe some stray uh, artillery fire or a crashing aircraft took out one of his, perhaps, um, and was counted differently. No support powers. Um, still producing. i am got a pillbox troops, and I'm building artillery now at this point. I didn't get any into action. Here's the economy tab. I earned 115,000. My opponent earned, is it 90,000? I think. Yes, it is. Um, and I've still got, I've got my two oil derricks because I took this one from the enemy, but the central one was mm, destroyed. Um, probably, I know the enemy had units here anyway, but the hospitals are intact, but there's the economy tab, and here's the basic. I'm at 
29.3 actions per minute, my opponent's at 29.2, so we were issuing orders at the same rate. Um, but there you go, score, destroyed value, etc. And uh, there you go. So uh, there's um, a decent one. Like I said in previous posts, if you like what you see and enjoyed it, give us a sub and a like. And um, I hope you all enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. It was a good game. There were some ups and downs there. So until next time, I hope you all enjoyed the video and take good care of yourselves. And for now, goodbye. Battle control terminated.